Happy Monday, everybody. I'm Amy Holmes, bringing you today's hot list at TheBlaze.com. Last week, we brought you Vladimir Putin and his shirtless magnificence. Well, today, we cast our eye on our own dear leader and his superhuman abilities. Women around the world and Chris Matthews swooned when they caught this glimpse of President Obama glistening in the Hawaiian surf. But it's not just his hairless chest that slays his fans. Last week, basketball star Kobe Bryant told sports radio host Dan Patrick that the amateur hoopster-in-chief could go pro like this year. Yes, he could, actually. <laughs> That's not a, you know, I'm not, I'm not dissing the current roster that we have. It's more of a, a sign of respect of the skill that the president possesses. But would playing for the Lakers be enough of a challenge for the multi-talented prodigy? Obama confidant, conciliary, and White House advisor claims that the Chicago politician has been bored his whole life. Quote, I think Barack knew that he had God-given talents that were extraordinary. He knows exactly how smart he is, and I think he's never been challenged intellectually. He's been bored to death his whole life. He's just too talented to do what ordinary people do. But don't take Valerie Jarrett's word for it. President Obama himself warned his first White House political director, quote, I think that I'm a better speechwriter than my speechwriters. I know more about policies on any particular issue than my policy directors, and I'll tell you right now that I'm going to think I'm a better political director than my political director. Which begs the question, who are these ignoramuses Obama is hiring? Now the one skill Obama has yet to master, despite his tireless efforts, is golf. Tiger Woods, Obama's President's Day golfing partner last year, reported that the avid sportsman, quote, hit the ball well, he's got an amazing touch, but after these four years, if he spends more time playing the game of golf, I'm sure he can actually get to where he's a pretty good stick. No doubt the president will do his best to take the champion's advice and be out on the green as much as possible. For now, he has to contend with calming allies' fears about an imperial Russia, and then there are those pesky midterm elections. But once he gets his presidency out of the way, who knows what's possible? Obama's future, like his God-given talents, is limitless. I'm Amy Holmes reporting to you from the Blaze Newsroom in New York City.